Hey everyone, welcome back to Rail Stuff, um, where for once we're actually going to talk about trains, actual trains and tracks and stuff. Uh, most of you know that, that, that my obsession is um, scenics, and that's why rail-stuff.com is your home for uh, model railway scenics and accessories and things like that. But I'm a modeler at heart. Um, which means that I need to build a layout. I've been dancing around with dioramas and things like that. I keep going to shows and um, yeah. So previously, I've built a, a few layouts with my dad, um, but uh, you know he's over in in Suffolk. I'm over here in Staffordshire, so you know um, that ain't practical. Um, so it's about time I built one of my own. But the problem is I don't have anywhere near as much space as my dad does. Uh, and any space that I would have been able to dedicate to a layout uh, is now dedicated to the business. Um, so I had an idea. And that is that I'm going to build a six by one um, exhibition layout. Just a little shunting layout. Um, there's some clues here in terms of the theme of this shunting layout in these three Royal Mail vans. Uh, so basically I'm going to build a six by one uh, Royal Mail depot. Um, these are all pretty modern Royal Mail vans. And what I'm thinking of doing is imagining what things might have been like had the TPOs, the travelling post offices, not have been abandoned. Um, either that or thinking about, you know, uh, different ways in which parcels might be delivered to um, Royal Mail depots. It'd be quite fictional. It's certainly not going to be um, prototypical because um, I want a bit of, a bit of license in there to do my own thing. Um, but one of the things that I did want to do was DCC. I've never done it before, um, but I think in a in a shunting layout, in an exhibition layout, um, DCC is going to be pretty important. So one of the things that you will learn about me, the more of these videos that that you watch, is that I'm a cheapskate. Um, I always look for cheap. Um, challenging, interesting ways of doing things, um, and yeah, I, I might have bitten off more than I can chew this time, but but we're going to find out. Um, so some of you know as well, uh, Rail Stuff does a load of uh, electrical accessories, so I've got some good suppliers uh, in electronics. Um, so I've been talking to a few of them. I've been doing some research. And I am going to try LC DCC. Now, if anyone hasn't come across LC DCC before, uh, the LC stands for low cost. My ears pricked up. Um, there's, you can buy licenses to their software on on um, eBay, um, and you can run it off of a phone, a tablet, laptop, PC, anything really. What I'm thinking of doing therefore is I've got an old uh, Amazon Fire Android tablet well it's supposedly Amazon OS but um, you can get it in such a way that you can get the the Google Play Store on there and it, it is based on Android so I'm going to use that because I don't use it anymore and I want to actually build that into the unit so that it's got a DCC touchscreen controller built into it. See what I mean about maybe I've bitten off more than I can chew. Um, but what you need to do for LC DCC is obviously you can download the software, but it's the bit in between the software and the tracks that's the complicated bit. So I've had to go shopping, and this is this is only a small amount of it. There's more of it elsewhere in the garage. In fact, let me just go and get a couple of other bits. And with the magic of editing, I'm back. Um, so there's that thing. 
coming out there, other things. So I think that's it. Um, so you've got this board here, which is a something. Arm Cortex M4 core. Nucleo 64 STM 32, I don't know. Um, but basically I found a, what, what said it was a guide to LCDCC. Um, but I think guide is uh, putting it very loosely. Um, but this is like the, the main board that will run everything, apparently. Somehow. Um, so we've got, we've got that there. We've got this, which does something else. Uh, I think they call it an H bridge. Not really sure what that is. We're gonna find out. Um, then you got this this thing, which is a uh, it's a DC current monitor. See, it's written on it there, so I, I know what that is. I think that's for for monitoring and um, managing the the voltage. I think. Uh, and then this, I do know what this is. This is a Bluetooth module, so that you can connect it to uh, a device. So that's a Bluetooth module. And somehow we're gonna take this stuff and we're gonna connect it together and make it work. Um, and then it should work with the majority of um, DCC decoders apparently. What I've then got, um, so from another part of of, um, of the business here, uh, I actually make for for sim racing. So you know, online um, racing games and things like that. It's, it's, it's a big passion of mine. Uh, I make things like this. Um, so it plugs into the PC. It's extra controls, uh, and it's a. So this one's actually a, a gear shifter, sequential gear shifter. I do other stuff as well, but. See sim stuff that one, uh, rail stuff, sim stuff. No, this is a bit of a pattern. Um, but what it does mean is that I've got quite a few of these uh, knocking about. ABS plastic project enclosures, they call them. Um, they're really, really useful uh, little boxes. So what I'm planning is to actually build this stuff into one of these. It might be. That I do it in one of the smaller boxes. So if I can fit all of it into one of these smaller boxes, then that can be all of the stuff that does the thing. This is gonna be fun, isn't it? Anyway, what we've got at the minute is this little bit of um, track here. Uh, and as you'll see, my lovely County of Norfolk Class 47 sort of runs on it. <laughs> I think it needs a bit of a, a clean up and a sort, but this is just a really, really old uh, Hornby DC controller. Uh, it's just crocodile clipped onto, onto this. Um, but what I'm gonna do, because this is gonna be such a fixed layout, is that once the track is down, everything is gonna be soldered together. Um, I want to make sure that it is just the most perfectly connected layout so that the only thing that then needs working on are, are the locos. Um, so I've bought all brand new track, um, which, it's always a difficult thing for cheapskate to do. Um, but I've got some of these long length straights. Um, I've got some some points. There's a load of other points somewhere else as well. Um, yeah, so more points, more points. Um, and when I say brand new, these are brand new bits of track, but have maybe been sat around in somebody's shed for a while. Cause I picked these up at a, Model Railway exhibition last weekend, which meant that I only sort of bought them for five or six quid each, which then makes the cheapskate happy, you see. Um, 
what I have done as well, even though everything is, is brand new in terms of track, is I've bought uh, a bunch of brand new fish plates. So I'll make sure that everything's got a really nice tight fit. And again, even though it's brand new, I have bought a track rubber so that I can just make absolutely sure that everything is as clean and smooth running as possible. Um, but anyway, I think um, I will also end up using some items from uh, my friends at RK Education. So these have been added to rail stuff recently. So this one I've kept to one side for myself. Um, this will likely be built into this unit as well. And this is one of their items, the RK Toggle 8. And this is ideal for points motors. Um, so what you've got is a power input feed, 12 volt, and an output. So you can keep going, add more and more together. And then you've got eight switches here. Um, that are returned to centre uh, on, off, on um, switches with the triple output there. So perfect for points motors. Um, so I've got those. I've also got one of their CDUs, which is amazing. It's four times 4,700 um, is, uh, yeah, is the rating of the CDU. And yes, yeah, so that will do... 8, 10, 12 points motors, something like that. Um, you know, I sell those for, for 11 quid. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Or is it even less than that? I can't remember. But it, it, they're, they're really good. This is great as well. Just have everything all built into one unit like this that I can then fix into here. Uh, inside this unit, I can have the DCC controller parts. I can have... Uh, the CDU built in there, the power supply, everything. That's the plan. So my invitation is over the next few weeks, watch and see how much I screw this up. On that note, I think I'll leave it for now. Thanks for watching. Speak soon.